Hi there. We're coming to you live today from Tucson, Arizona at Grijalva Elementary School. I'm your host, Daniel Sanchez, and today we're going to take a sneak peek inside a fifth grade classroom. Let's start by taking a look at today's highlights from the classroom with the teacher and the kids. Five, four, three, two, nice job, one and zero. When you have that equation written on your slate, I want you to go ahead and raise your hands. I didn't have enough time though. Christian. Look at that. Great move from the teacher. Really subtle, but very effective. And if we were going to round this to the nearest tenth of a case, raise your hand when you can tell me what our answer would be. Dylan, thank you for being respectful by being a careful listener. And it was closer to 600. There it is. The teacher took it to the next level. Great job. Quick reminder to the student of the appropriate behavior and a wonderful response from the student. A trip from New York City to answer. Seattle I mean, is 2,800. Oh, it looks like the behavior's continuing here. And look at the teacher taking it to the next stage. And there it is. Dylan, would you want to think time area, please? 2,852 and one tenth York. miles. A family York. wants to make the drive in 10 days, driving the same number of miles each day. Wow, look at that. Kept the focus on the learning. Great teacher strategy there. Didn't even follow that student as they were commenting on their way to think time. And look at this. Wonderful poise from the teacher. Here she is completing the referral to report out um, during an instructional break, keeping the family informed and other school adults aware of what she's doing to respond to that student's behaviors. All right, so here we are with a quick game recap. Early on here, what we had was the teacher giving the instruction here, and next thing you know, student with an unexpected behavior, but guess what? That teacher really respectfully reminded that student it was subtle, nonverbal, highly effective. A student kind of kept at it, but the teacher was really responsive in a very respectful and responsible manner, but it wasn't quite as simple as we expected. Lo and behold, a little later in the instruction, teacher was asking a question and the student had quite a bit more to say there. Really, the teacher at that point decided they were gonna make sure that they do the safe and the kind thing here by letting that student know that focus stayed on that learning that entire time. And to make sure that everyone was informed, that teacher filled out during an instructional break. Later on, she made sure to report out what she did that was respectful, responsible, safe, and kind, informing the family, making sure that school adults were aware and ready to be there for that student if they need additional supports. Kudos to the teacher, way to keep the focus on the learning. 